Did you know that Lord, the Grammy-winning artist, is also a published author? Hailing from New Zealand, Lord has made waves in the music world with her unique blend of indie pop, electronic, and art pop. Yet, beyond her musical prowess, she's also a published author. Stay tuned as we unveil more surprising facts about this talented artist. Coming in at number 10, Lord's real name isn't actually Lord. She's really Ella Maria Lani Yelich O'Connor. Quite a name, right? She opted for the stage name Lord, crisp and catchy. Quite a mouthful, isn't it? Hence the crisp and catchy Lord. At number 9, Lord started her music career early. This New Zealand native caught the eye of Universal Music Group, securing a deal at the tender age of 12. Indeed, a prodigy in the making. Number 8 reveals that Lord is no stranger to the literary world. Her passion for literature extends beyond reading. She's penned a short story. A singer and a writer. Quite a combination. Did you know Lordi has Croatian roots? That's our number 7. Her mother's lineage traces back to this Eastern European country, adding a unique layer to her identity. A blend of cultures just like her music. On number 6 on our list, Lord was the youngest solo artist to achieve a US number 1 single on the Billboard Hot 100 since 1987. Her song Royals shook the music industry, becoming a global anthem, a record-breaking achievement at such a young age. At number 5, Lord is a self-confessed introvert. This aspect of her personality profoundly shapes her songwriting and performances, imbuing her music with a depth and sensitivity that's uniquely her own. Her solitude indeed fuels her creativity. Number 4 uncovers Lord's unusual neurological condition. Did you know? Lord has synesthesia, a condition where she sees sounds as colors. It's a unique lens that deeply influences her music-making process. Seeing sounds, imagine that! Coming in at number 3, Lord is a Grammy record breaker. At just 17, she astounded the world by becoming the youngest artist to clinch the prestigious Song of the Year award at the Grammys. Her achievement is not just a personal victory, but a groundbreaking moment in music history. At number 2, Lord is a vocal critic of social media. She warns of its potential to distort reality and exacerbate mental health issues. Her stance is a refreshing contrast to the social media-driven culture of today, advocating for authenticity and mindfulness, a voice of reason in the digital age. And finally, at number one, Lord wrote, recorded, and produced her third studio album entirely in New Zealand during the COVID-19 lockdown. Solar Power showcases her musical evolution, crafted amidst isolation and global uncertainty, a testament to her resilience and creativity. That's Lord for you, full of surprises and immense talent.